and welcome to another studio vlog. Today's vlog is just going to be one day and it is Thursday the 18th of September because I thought it'd be fun to share with you my entire day even though it is like I think 8am now and I've already set up some jars as you can see and had one tea and I'm on to my second. If that doesn't tell you how my morning started, I don't know what else does. <laughs> no, it started okay. It's just that Lux, our cat, last week she got a tooth out at the vet. And so today she's still recovering and it's been a week now and she's still a little bit annoying. <laughs> so haven't been sleeping the best, but today's plans include making some candles and making some soap. So in here um, is the little crowns. I don't really want to pick them up because they'll be a bit gross because um, I've just been like tumbling them and Micah to color them. Um, they are for a soap I'm making. So this morning I am making the rep packages for September. The theme for September, because this will go up after <laughs> the September theme, is from the ashes. Here is a little picture of it and it is all Game of Thrones themed. I am beyond excited for House of the Dragon, which is the new Game of Thrones <laughs> show coming out and I've only heard good things. So. Hopefully it is good, especially after the tumultuous season 8 of Game of Thrones. I remember in 2019, my brother and I and my family in general were in Morocco when the final season came out. And so we were trying to watch it with really bad internet. And it just like didn't add to the atmosphere of the trip. On the upside, we did get to go visit some cool places that were in Game of Thrones while we were in Europe and Africa. But um, yeah, I'm just excited for a theme that I can finally do because I've been waiting to Game of Thrones for so long. It's just that I've done a few Game of Thrones items and they haven't been too popular. And I would say it's because the show ended really badly, but I've only heard good things about House of the Dragon. So hopefully I enjoy it and I'll be making some items inspired by it. Um, also on top of that, I'm bringing back five past candles, which are these ones on this side, because I have some 60ml jars and some 120ml tins. Um, that's how I do the rip packages. The rips will get the 60ml jars and then the tins will go into the actual stock of the item. Um, I was going to originally do just tins, but then I realised I'm down to three boxes left of tins, which means I'd have to order some soon, which is a bit stressful because they cost a lot of money because you have to order in bulk. And I kind of want to order a whole lot of soy wax in bulk, so I'm trying to decide which is better. Uh, not that it matters too much. So yeah, that is today's plan. I also have to make some wax melts. I have to make a lip scrub and... No, that's the last one. Just a lip scrub, um, which is a Cersei Lannister inspired lip scrub. And then finally, I'm making a soap, which is these. These are little crowns for a King Boo or just Boo inspired soap from Mario. I did a Rainbow Road inspired soap. Um, earlier this year and it went down really well and then this month's theme in one of the soap making groups I'm in which I think is Kiwi Soap Makers it might be another one <laughs> is a New Zealand soap making group is Ghost Swirl so King Boo from Mario so yeah um, I'm hoping that goes well because it's going to be my very first time doing that and I'm going to show you the process of it otherwise yeah let's get on in with our day your time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page tonight can we stay and why don't you Won't you give some of it to me? Yeah, I need you present Instead of giving me presents You're not getting off that easily Oh, can we get back on the same page? Tonight we can stay
it has been a little while since I made some soap, but I thought I would show you the process of this time. This is the uh, very first time I'm doing a ghost swirl. So in this one I have a 35% lye ratio, and in this one I have a 45% ratio. 7 minute oils in both of these um, for a batch of 1000 grams. Yep, 1kg, which is this thing. Um, and the products I'm using is Bite Me from uh, Zen Aroma, which colours to a light tan apparently. Um, this one is one I pour on first, and this one I pour on second, just making sure I have that information correct. And because this one's non gelling, I will add um, the fragrance only into this one because I don't want to affect the fragrance of this or the colour of this one. Hopefully, it works out. I don't know. Um, and then the last little thing I have to add are these little um, crowns. Hopefully, that's a thing. I know it's very micery right now, but I'll put them on without gloves on. And now I've just got Michael all of these gloves. Um, and I'm only making one batch. Will that come back to bite me? Maybe. But who cares? You know what? Um, we're just going to deal with this. So, I'm going to mix them both separately. Let me get my mixer out. And I'm going to start with the one that has less lye. It's really hard to tell, but this is definitely not less lye. Um, I'll put that to the side. <laughs> and then I will do this one. And I also might just add a little bit of titanium dioxide to both of them. Just because I use pomace olive oil, which is quite a yellow looking or green looking soap, should I say. Actually... Maybe I won't. It's really interesting seeing the difference in these. Just wipe that off. So this is my 45% lye where it's quite a bit darker and this is my lighter one. So putting the fragrance in the darker one. Should I weigh this out? Ah, no. That should be alright. And I'm going to mix it in by hand. Oh gosh, it changes the colour immediately, but that's alright. And then I just will do one little more blitz to make sure everything's correctly incorporated. It's weird not colouring a soap, because normally I always colour them, so... You know. But I'm trusting the process. I'm trying out something new and trusting the process. And I double checked, so this fragrance, um, which is Bite Me from Zen Designs or Zen Aroma, they change the name and I keep forgetting. Um, is a fragrance that apparently does not accelerate, but it does colour to a light tan, as I said. Doesn't rice, which I can tell you right now it doesn't. Um, yeah, it seems like a pretty good fragrance. The only thing is I stole this from another candle, so essentially I'm re-releasing past candles. And um, I asked my reps what they thought sounded best for this soap and they said this fragrance so yeah they don't know that that candle's coming back yet they will by the time the soap and this video is released but it's a good thing that the soap comes out a month after the uh candle so no one will really know and then we'll pour this in and this is meant to be a drop swirl apparently should i uh, i'll just put this a little bit more to double check it's okay if I was to uh, describe this fragrance, I would say it is like a berries with cherry, and not that you can see, I'm very sorry. I'm just going to do a drop swirl. And scrape it all out, and then I'm going to get my hanger tool and I'll write that off and then oh gosh I'm gonna take my gloves off because I'm done now very simple soap and then using this little tool I am just swirling the top not that it matters too much because it has mostly the uh lighter color in but then I'm also going to Use a tiny bit of my mica duster and swirl again. Was it planned? No. Okay, and now I'm going to swirl again. I did think I might need it. 
And then now I'm just going to wait a little bit more until it's a bit more set up and then I'll put my little crowns in. Okay, I'll put the first one down because I just wanted to make sure that it was a good, um, what do you call it, like consistency. And now I'm going to put the rest down. I think I'm going to put them sort of sideways. It's very scary. And I have kind of marked where the bars go, like where the cut lines are, you know. <laughs> I hopefully should be able to use my multi-bar cutter, but we'll see. Ah, and this is a very concentration heavy task because I don't want to make it all look ugly and it doesn't help that some of them are really crooked. Um, I probably should have done a video on how I made these, but I'm just going to leave that up to your imagination. No, not really. Um, I used like a cookie cutter I had to cut these. And then I uh, rolled them into like a little crown shape. So before the cookie cutter was, I made one extra. Before the cookie cutter was like a flat cookie cutter and then I made it a crown shape. Also apologies if you can hear something outside that is my brother-in-law's bike. Okay, hopefully it was all within the lines. My hands are now very gold, so I'm gonna go clean them off. I've got one extra crown so I can do something with that, I guess. And that is the finished soap. I'll bring you in for a close up. And here is the finished soap in all its glory. This is how I take photos. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you the process. I have already taken a photo of this item. It's Katarina and Garen. I just have actually handy that I have the ring light that I use as a um, stand because today is very, very cloudy and rainy. So the lighting isn't the best. I used to have a camera, but it died. AKA one stopped working and one I dropped. So now I use my iPad. We're looking at getting a camera, but it's not a priority because they're not very affordable. I just make it with this setup. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It works for me. I know it's not for everyone, but yeah. And I kind of decide as I'm going what items I will like how I'll take the photos but I always do some that are like this and then I'll do some that are top down so I try to do as many of the front on ones as I can and I try to do a good mix of top and front um, for each release so like I'll do two items from the brand new items that are top and two that are front and I know that like or the candles especially I know that, that no one else notices that, but I do, and I care about that. And I also try to swap the side things on. So like for Sansa, which I just took a photo of, I had this candle on that side, etc., etc. So I'm kind of like a one photo, one take sort of person. <laughs> which my friends, I went to a party once and my friends thought it was kind of crazy because I took a photo of an item there because I didn't have one at home. Um, or I forgot to take a photo or something. And so I took a photo while I was there and I took one photo and I was like, okay, cool, I'm done. Cool. And now I will swap to top down and I'll do some top down with the wood around which was uh, gifted to me by my friend from her wedding. Leftovers Byron actually paints on these but this one's mine. We need to cut off this little nub that's on the side and I'll do some without the thing. Also on occasion I'll use props like the flower or the leaves in the back. That's just the plant I have. Other times I'll actually have like a little bottle with leaves or also I am taking photos of all the past items I've done because I changed my labels since I released most of them there's some I don't have to take photos of but some that I do and then and then I will take away the wood round and do the very last two and this one's hard because there is the gap in the couch I kind of didn't plan that very well and my final candle uh, this way and then, also on top of all the candles, I do have to take photos of my August matchbox. So, I have the spoiler card and all the items. And I think I'm going to do a slightly different one this time. Normally I do it very, like, basic. But I might do a pretty one. Where is that? Now I film a TikTok, so I'm taking you off.
it is 5 20 <laughs> and I'm kind of done with work for the day I spent some time scheduling some posts which I didn't really film and then I've now just set up all my candles for my Our Flag Means Death pre-order I've done 28 I sold 23 pre-orders which is pretty good in my opinion <laughs> um and so there's 28 so there'll be five extras available on the website slash I'll put them up at a later date because in case anyone things broke and um, transport in transit not transport then I can send them <laughs> the replacements um yeah otherwise I'm basically done very messy that's basically my day it is very messy and I need to do a lot of cleaning but tonight I'm going out with some friends for my friend's birthday so I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the studio vlog a day in my life please make sure you like the channel like the channel subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment down below if you watched the whole way through let me know um otherwise i'll see you guys all with, with the next video kaki te ano. my love language is your time and attention won't you give some of it to me